Hey, it's Nick, live from the office. And uh, this time I'm uh, kind of doing uh, one with my droid. Uh, I just did one a minute ago on uh, a Fresnel lens uh, solar cooker that I built. And um, I was using the droid, and I, I thought the video quality was decent enough for a vlog. Uh, most of the time I use uh, some of my bigger camera rigs and things uh, to do these videos, but I really figured that uh, for a vlog type thing, this should be fine. Uh, so, if any of you are upset that uh, this is a little bit lower of quality, go ahead and tell me, and I'll go ahead and switch back to using, like, my GH1 or the HVX200. Uh, but for now, I'm going to do this one, and this is another big little filmmaking tip. And, uh, this came to mind, and the reason why it came to mind is because I got hungry. And at the, it was right after I did my vlog, and I thought, that is one of the most important tips to give somebody out there. <clears throat> Because I know a lot of you out there who are watching uh, the Big Little Filmmaking Tips, um, you are actually uh, low or no budget filmmakers. Uh, you may be having your friends uh, be the actors, or you may be getting free actors over Craigslist or something similar. Um, and so the most important thing in a film is food. I know that sounds ridiculous, but... Whenever you're actually making a film, it is very, very, very important to have water and to have food for your cast and your crew. It can be a very simple fare. I mean, uh, like I myself, uh, some of the times that uh, I've been the host uh, for um, a film, uh, you know, like I've been the director or the set has been in my home or something, I always prepare food. And I myself uh, buy food from fairly cheap places for myself, uh, like Aldi's is a place that I go quite often to get food and such, and uh, so, you know, don't concentrate on big, humongous meals and don't think in your head, oh my gosh, i got to feed all these people. Get very simple stuff, I mean, as, as simple as, I mean, if you can only afford it, just get bread, mustard, and bologna. I've had people complain about my dry bologna sandwiches, but they had food. They were able to be not hungry, and I was able to give them at least water. Uh, you know, some kind of juice or like Kool-Aid or something would be a lot better. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's very important that you feed your crew and your cast. Um, if they are working for you for free, you should be a good host and have water, have food, and... Try to think just a little bit about access to things like a bathroom. Uh, and, uh, you know, just those the basics of life you need to take care of if you are making a film. So my big little filmmaking tip this time is feed and water your cast and crew. And they will be a happy cast and crew. And don't think just because, you know, it's your passion project or something, and that maybe maybe you aren't eating because you're just excited. Don't come at it uh, with the, um, the mindset of, well, I'm not eating, uh, so why do I have to get them food? I've had people go there before. Don't go there. You need to feed the cast and crew. You know, and fast food is not a good idea. And the reason why I say this is uh, it's actually ex more expensive than you think. Buy cheap food at the store to make sandwiches and stuff. You'll save a lot more money. You might think a dollar sandwich or something at the gro or at the fast food restaurant. Maybe it sounds cheap, but it's not really. Uh, if you buy a loaf of bread and some meat and like some mustard or mayonnaise or something at the store, uh, each one of the one sandwiches is only going to cost you a few cents. Uh, so buy stuff at the store beforehand. Bring it with you in a cooler or something and feed your cast and crew. Very, very, very important. They can get very cranky, have very bad performance. Um, the, the crew can move very slowly and sluggishly if they don't have uh, some food in their stomach. And then the cast uh, can give very bad performances because of some of the same things. Because they're just tired and down and they needed to have food in them. So, remember that. And definitely water. Water, you, you need to have water. Um, even if it's in a jug that you 
got out of the faucet at home, you need to bring that along with you. Because, like, say you bring ten people, cast and crew, all to a location, and <clears throat> if they don't have a water fountain or something, um, I mean, these those people need water. Water is even more important than food. Uh, if, if you push a cast and crew for, like, say, a 12-hour or 14-hour, I mean, I've done, like, 18, 24-hour shoots. Well, I've done, like, a, the 48-hour film festival and have really long shoot times. you got to have water. People cannot go that long without water. So always remember, water is very, very important, but food is definitely big on the list. And it's a small tip. It, it seems so simple, and that's because it is. But it's very, very important. So my big little filmmaking tip, feed your crew and make sure that they have water. So, in the words of my favorite YouTube musical artist, the ukulele, push the button. <laughs>